We start at five with those hateful messages and symbols spray painted on a road in Chesapeake. Good evening. I'm Maria Elena Baloris. And I'm Tom Shad. The shocking pictures and language greeted people in the Grassfield area last weekend. So one resident reached out to 10 on your side to fix it. Andy Fox is live tonight with reaction. Andy. Yeah, Tom, we are out here on an abandoned road at Grassfield and Cahoon Parkways here in Chesapeake. We got a call to get out here and we got out here real quick. Police got a call. They got out here real quick and Public Works got a call. And you know what? They showed up too. And it enraged me to see this in my neighborhood where I live. We're very diverse in our neighborhood. Uh, we come from all ethnic backgrounds. Tammy Vickery saw Curtis Davis's social media post from Sunday walking down this abandoned road that once ran between Shillelagh Road and Cahoon Parkway with his daughter and two of her friends. They saw the paint of hate. Stupidity at its finest. Vickery became so outraged by the racist graffiti, she came down to see herself. Police called, came out quickly. Forensic unit. Vickery hopes something happens. I hope they follow through. Um, I, I hope we make some uh, some noise about this so everybody realizes this is happening in all communities. Um, I, th I thought I was in a safe community. Now I don't. I don't feel like I'm safe. There's so much of the graffiti, the N-word, and what stood out the most to Vickery. Like I stand with Israel right next to swastikas. Right. So, of course, what stood out was this was either somebody that was ignorant or a younger person that didn't understand. Importantly to note, it's someone full of hate. Curtis Davis doesn't know how long the graffiti has been out here, maybe all sprayed at once or over time. Cans left behind, taken as evidence, maybe fingerprints. Vickery's only been in town four months. And then I called and reached out to Wavy News um, to contact you. Uh, the main reason I did it is I work for YWCA in Southampton Roads and uh, what we do and we fight is to eliminate racism, of course, empower women and ensure justice. Yeah, fighting for justice. She is so great and thank you so much for calling us. Guess what? Public Works came out here. Now that package we just showed you had to blur everything. Guess what? They came out here with some black paint. They've covered everything up and it is clear that now we can put stuff on out here and we don't have to worry about it. And coming up tomorrow, tonight at Wavy News 10 at 6, they are going to start showing you. I'm gonna show you right over here is a daycare center and the sounds of children over there coming up at 6. They're really right here, just 30 yards from where all of this happened. And tomorrow morning, Public Works will be out here to actually shave the top of the road, clear it, getting ready, put down some more asphalt to really make it look clean out here. That's the latest, and I'll have an update coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6 about those kids just next door. Andy Fox, 10 on your side.